गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन माय मिस्टर प्रफुल कोल थे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टुडे द ऑपरेशन ऑफ कोम्बिंग साइकिल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द सीक्वेंस ऑफ ऑपरेशन इन रेक्टिलिनियर कोम्बर दिस इज द डायग्राम विच शोज द वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द रेक्टिलिनियर कोम्बर यू कैन सी द वीरियस components of the comber this one is nothing but the diagram this one is the diagram of cylinder comb and this one is the three dimensional machine view of the rectilinear comber now we are going to start the step by step mechanism of the combing cycle the first step in the combing cycle is feed roller s moves the lap sheet W forward by a small amount that is near uh, 4.33 to 6.7 mm, while nipper Z0 and ZU are held open for the feeding purpose. This step you can analyze from these both diagrams. The second step in the combing cycle is upper the nipper plate Z0 is lowered. on to cushion plate zu so that the fiber are clamped between them that is nothing but this particular cycle we are calling as a nipping and this you can analyze from this particular diagram the third step in the combing cycle is combing segment k mounted on a rotating cylinder z sweeps saw tooth through saw teeth through fiber fringe b and carries away anything not held by the nipper that is with the help of rotary comber that you can analyze from this diagram then the next step with respect to the combing cycle is nothing but the opening of the nipper again and during opening it moves toward detaching roller a that is called as a nipper forward movement you can analyze this particular step with respect to this diagram here you can say that the uh, here you can say that the nipper movement is going to be forwarded and backwarded with respect to the movement of that particular nipper the next diagram that is meanwhile next step that is meanwhile the detaching roller a have written part of the previously drawn off stock web v by means of partial reserve rotation so that the web protrudes from the back of the detaching device this is nothing but simultaneous movement for the joining of these two segments of the web so that the continuous lap you can uh, sorry the continuous web you can uh form with uh, after the combing cycle in the course of the forward movement of the nipper the projecting fiber fringe is placed on the return web v that is called as a piecing this this can you analyze from this particular diagram where the piecing action of the lap takes place by backward movement of the particular detaching roller then in the next step the detaching roller begins to rotate in forward direction again and draw the clamp fiber out of web w held fast held fast by feed roller s inside the nipper then after the particular you can say that joining of the web then detaching roller moves forward for the next stage and this you can analyze from this particular diagram before the start of the detaching operation the top comb has thrust itself single row of the teeth into the fiber fringe as the fiber are pulled through the teeth of the top comb during detaching the trailing part of the fringe is comb thus making up for the inability of the circular comb to reach this part of the fringe that is passive combing by the top comb 
as the nipper assembly is retracted the nipper open the next feeding step the top comb is withdrawal the new combing cycle begin after the end of this this is you can say near about the completion of one combing cycle one of the extra step with respect to the cleaning of the comb is to contrary the movement of the other part the combing cycle rotate continuously during this rotation at the certain instant the combing segment is brought into vicinity of the rapidly revolving brush mounted below the combing cycle this brush remove the imperfections from the combing segment and eject them in the uh, into an extractor that carries the noil away to the collecting filter system this is you can say all the things related to the combing cycle thank you very much